It's like to start offering SEO because that's what gets traffic to the website. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm here with another episode of How to Build an Agency today with Jasper Aiken. And I met him at the Search Atlas uh, group on Facebook. So I'm glad to meet you and we met through like uh, Fidan, right? And I wanted to like ask you like on how you got started with your agency. I know you mentioned that you actually just started as well, which is I'm actually going to study my own. So I'm looking to interview anyone or anyone that has actually started. So before we get started, I would love for everyone to get to know you a little bit. So can you tell uh, the audience about yourself? Yeah, so... Um... I have had an agency for about three years now, and I came from, before that, I came from the mortgage industry. I worked at a mortgage company as a loan officer, eventually worked into a marketing position for that company and, and did all their marketing and lead gen and, you know, built funnels for them, ran ads for them, all that good stuff. And through that, I, I ran into a software that we started using called Go High Level, which is a really popular software in the agency world where you can white label it and you can resell it as your own kind of software brand mixed with other marketing services on the side. And so that's what I started doing. I originally started selling uh, the software mixed with, I would, I would run paid ads for mortgage companies and real estate agents and grew that. Um, you know, over about a year period, to 15 grand a month. And then from there, I started a YouTube channel, started promoting high level as an affiliate um, on my YouTube and my Instagram and TikTok and just across social media. Um, and so I still have agency clients and I still get clients here and there, but I'm not really actively pushing my agency as much anymore. I'm more so focusing on my personal brand and trying to uh, grow my affiliate program and help other agency owners build their agencies with high level at this point. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. I live in Idaho, uh, small town Idaho, where it's super cold and snows all the time. Um, but yeah, I have a wife and, and a baby who's one years old that, that are awesome. They're they're the reason that I do all this stuff. So yeah. Love it, love it. So I'm curious about when, I know you said you're going to be probably putting a pause on your agency, but like, what was that aha moment when you felt like, oh, you know what, I'm going to just start an agency. Like, what was that moment that pushed you there? Like I said before, I was working at doing marketing, getting paid salary from a mortgage company that I worked at. And um, I wasn't getting paid that much. And I started doing the agency on the side and it quickly overtook my day job of what I was making working for somebody else. And so I was like, man, if I could put all my time into this and just quit my job, I'd be able to grow it so much faster. And so I guess just testing it out while I was still working a full-time job, I think was very necessary. I, I don't think like some people are like, what should I do? Should I quit my job and go all in on my agency or should I just do it slowly? And I think the best way to do it is probably more slowly, unless you have the funds in place to be able to live off of for a while without making any income in your agency, then I think you could, you could potentially quit your job and start and go all in on your agency. But if you have a kid, you know, family and kids that you have to like put food on the table for, um, I think it'd be a smarter idea to do it on the side until it becomes something big enough that you can quit your full-time job. But yeah, hopefully that answered your question. No, 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 exactly. I mean, that was kind of the same way I've kind of went to, but it wasn't by choice. It, it was like, um, I was trying to consult and I was hoping like, you know, I saw like the money coming in and I was getting a little bit higher and higher. Then all of a sudden I got laid off and I was like, oh God. So that's when I had decided to like, you know, go full-time on the agency. And then I, I eventually was sort of started making a lot more than I was making at my corporate job. So that was something that I kind of like felt in, which is where I'm at. And I'm not necessarily a, agency now i'm i feel i'm cons like considered a consultant because i'm always just you know dabbling here and there it's all part of a team of other ones and that's why i'm trying to look into like ex scaling my my consulting business into more of an agency which is why like i'm interviewing like great people like you who actually built their agencies you know, from, the, from the ground up so i'm like curious like what was you mentioned high level and i'm curious where does such atlas fit in when you are um you know building your agency or if you're you know how you're using it yes i i just started using search atlas earlier this year um because I wanted to introduce SEO as a service to some of my clients. I, I built the majority of my agency off of doing websites for small businesses. So we would build the websites and we'd build them on go high level. And then we would set up automations that are tied to that website. So when somebody, when a lead goes to their website and they fill out a form that after that form is submitted, the automated text and emails will send out to that lead and put them onto like a drip campaign to try to nurture them. 
or if somebody books an appointment on the calendar that's on the website, you know, we have those automations that send text and email reminders for when the appointment's happening and things like that. So we just, that was our basic offer. And we would charge a setup fee and a monthly subscription for those websites to just keep them hosted. And we'd make updates for our clients on them as needed and things like that. And um, a lot of them just, just naturally were like, Hey, you know, the website's great, but like, we want to get customers from it. We don't just want a website that looks cool. Yeah. And that the natural next step for me was like to start offering SEO because that's what gets traffic to the website. And so anyway, we started doing like website SEO and Google business profile SEO for those local businesses and search Atlas I noticed was like, it did everything. Like it would, it could use AI to write your blogs. Um, you could integrate it with your Google business profile. And then when the new auto tool came out, that is the auto pixel that does AI kind of on autopilot for you. And it really just helps speed up the, the ranking process when we're talking SEO, like it was just a no brainer to incorporate that and just install that on a lot of our clients' websites as an upsell. You know, we, we would charge a couple hundred dollars more per month than what we were currently charging them. And we'd say, hey, we can do a full-blown SEO package for you along with this website that we already built for just, you know, 300 bucks a month more um, because auto makes it super easy and um, auto with search atlas. So, yeah. I love that. So so it's an action upsell. So it's not a part of your original package. So you always add it as an upsell. Hey, we can do this more. or And then it's like an additional income for for you to and your the clients. Yeah, exactly. Ah, God. So, I mean, I, I've heard that there's going to be like a, some type of integration with high level and search Atlas. I saw there's an announcement. I mean, are you, are you like one of the um, beta testers that are using that or are you just kind of using the pixel that they have with auto or how's that, how's, how's, how's your integration working with high level right now? Um, I just use the two software separately. Okay. It's not, the integration hasn't come out yet, uh, that where it's like native inside of go high level. And, um, yeah, I don't know if I will use it in high level because high level will probably resell it at an additional price and it might almost be worth it just to go get your own search Atlas account separately. It might be cheaper that way than using it through go high level because go high level has to like make a profit somehow off of the search Atlas users that use it inside of high level. So I think it's honestly probably better to get, have your own search Atlas account separately. Love that. Love that tip right there. So I'm curious also on how, um, how has, have you seen some results with your clients so far with some of like that, with implementing auto or, you know, what kind of like are the features that you're using there and results that you're seeing? Yeah. So we've got like five or six clients using the auto pixel right now. Um, like I said, my agency is small, like I don't have a big agency, but we've got five or six that are, I, I, I didn't want to like upsell it to all of our clients because I wanted to make sure it was working first when I was just first testing out auto, but the results have been really good. We use the heat mapping tool a lot where you can see like pinpoints around their area, yeah. um, like on the Google business profile map. Yep. And the, like these, these maps are turning from like yellow and orange to like fully green, meaning they're ranking higher on Google maps, um, within just a few short months. And so. I, I've just like, I've done some manual, more manual SEO in the past where I just like managed everything without using search Atlas or any, any SEO softwares. And it just takes a lot longer. It, it takes a lot more manual action and, and the, the speed to ranking somebody, you know, in the top five on Google maps is a lot longer of a process if you don't have any good softwares in place. But with search Atlas, we can like easily pinpoint auto tells us exactly what needs to be done. There's some really good tools in there for Google business profile that allow us to like schedule the updates onto it. We can, it uses AI to auto respond to Google reviews that are left. Um, you can schedule Q and A's to go out every week. And so you can use their like scheduling tool and stuff to batch your work in a more efficient way, um, than how I used to have to do it manually for everybody. And so, yeah, it's, it's sped up the process a ton and, and the clients are seeing really good results from it in terms of ranking. We can usually get all of them, all six of them that we started work, working with, except for the most recent one, they're on the first page of Google and within the top 10 on Google maps. So I'd say that's a win for sure. Nice. Nice. So uh, that's, those were all the kind of the features that you're actually using to turn the red to green dots uh, on those maps, like everything you just mentioned that you're actually using a combination of all those. Yeah. And some, some stuff in go high level as well helps with that. Like after a customer comes in and becomes and purchases from a business, we can do an automated Google review request that texts that customer after the fact so that the business owner doesn't have to like manually text each of their new customers. Hey, 
do you mind leaving us a Google review? It's all automated. So that just helps them get more Google reviews, which in return helps businesses rank higher on Google. So yeah. um, there's some things we do in, in high level that help with the SEO. We do all the on-page SEO and go high level on the websites that we build because that's where the website builder is at. But um, yeah, all the off-page stuff is mainly done through Search Atlas. Love that, love that. So I'm curious now, like with, with those that want to start an agency, you know, the tips, like other tips for me, like what were some of the top three tips you would probably give me as someone to um, get going and starting their agency? Like honestly, like softwares, there's like this, because there's kind of a new trend in the marketing world to like leverage softwares to get really good results. And, and that's how I've grown my agency. And so I'd highly recommend somebody to go that route um, using softwares and, and leveraging automation and AI in their agency. It, it really helps like speed up the process of learning and the software can handle the majority of the workload for you um, with a lot of the automations you can set up in like search atlas and go high level. And so that'd be, that'd be the first thing I would say is, is learn a software like search atlas. If you're going to plan on offering SEO as your packages or, or go high level, if you want to offer, you know, CRM and, and websites and, you know, funnels and all this other stuff. Um, because it, that'll just give you a place to manage all your clients and it'll make scaling a lot easier and managing your clients a lot easier. And then the softwares can't do everything right. So like you've, you've got to learn how to use them. And there are some additional services you can offer outside of just the software because not everything can be fully automated. So I did a lot of YouTubing when I first started YouTube University, watched a lot of videos from, uh, there's one guy named Ben Heath. Okay. He's a, he's a decently big YouTuber and he teaches marketing stuff and I learned a lot from him. So I'd find somebody on, on, on YouTube that is given free help and, and learn from them. I'm um, not, not even saying myself, but like just, there's lots of guys that have really good knowledge and they give it away for free. And then I may be getting a mentor potentially see if there's anybody that's willing to mentor for free. Um, like me personally, I, I mentor people for free when they use my affiliate link to sign up for high level. So they're already signing up for a software that they're going to need. And then if they use my link, they get all this extra free stuff. They get two calls with me every week and I can help them and just teach them, Hey, this is how I did it. This is how you can do it too. So anyway, maybe, maybe those would be my top three. I'm curious, like, uh, are you a one man, um, uh, agency or do you actually have some staff? Do you actually have, you have staff on your team? I've, so I have a couple of virtual assistants, um, one full-time and then two guys that are part-time. Um, but yeah, I mean, the guy who's full-time builds websites. So he's always designing websites for clients. And um, now he builds a lot of templates and stuff and go high level that we give to our affiliates that sign up with my affiliate link. But um, the other guys, one of them does outreach. So he does like my cold email and my DMs and stuff on my social media platforms. And then the other guy does SEO. So he's like a copywriter and SEO specialist. So he manages like a couple, you know, some of our SEO clients, um, but they're not like full time at this point anymore. They used to be, but yeah. Love that. Love that. Okay. So for those that want to get a hold of you, what's your YouTube channel? Uh, please I'll share, share with the audience. Um, yeah, probably YouTube would be the best. That's it's just Jasper high level. Um, and you could also look me up Jasper Aiken by my full name, but, um, that and Instagram, I, uh, if you want to DM me on Instagram, I know you can't really DM on YouTube. So if you want to DM me, send me a message, uh, Instagram or Facebook would be fine. It's just Jasper Aiken. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much, Jasper, for coming on. And I will hopefully see you on the SEO Beatles show soon. Sounds great. Thanks, Paul. All right. Paul. All right. All right.